to our very first Oral Arts Quick Tips from the Lab video session. And uh, today we have with us my very good friend, Dr. Mark McComey from Chattanooga, Tennessee, and longtime loyal account, Dr. McComey. So glad you're here with us today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Great to be here. So today we're going to cover a very hot topic in dentistry right now, intraoral scanners. And uh, Mark and I do a lot of lecturing around the uh, southeast, and one of the most asked questions is about how these intraoral scanners work, which ones to buy. Doctors call us all the time in the lab um, wanting to know what's the best and which ones we like. So Mark has a scanner. And uh, I'm going to have Mark talk a little bit about his practice and um, also his, his process of looking at scanners and which scanner he chose to buy and all that kind of thing. So, Mark, why don't you tell us a little bit about your practice? Our practice is I'm a general dentist in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And uh, we opened from scratch in 1998. And who we is, I guess, is my wife is also a dentist. Uh -huh. And she practices with me and has since 1998 when we just opened up. And um, we've, been, we've been scanning for it'll be two years in October 2016. Mm -hmm. So we bought our scanner in October of 2014. Mm -hmm. And what scanners did you look at when you were, when you were when starting I went to, to look for them? Started doing research. I started a long time ago, and I, they were so expensive, and they did so little for a long time that I couldn't justify the cost and the effort it would take to do scanning. Mm -hmm. So in 2014, at the um, American Dental Association in San Antonio, Texas, yeah, I went in. I looked at Trios. I looked at obviously Three Shape, uh, 3M, Itero. Oh man, Plan Mecca, the Plan Scan. Uh huh. I looked at every scanner I could find on the convention floor, and mm -hmm. then I'd read about, and I wanted to get it in my hand and actually use it, and see what I thought. Mm hmm. You use it like on, like in, at the show or in the, the floor show. They stuff. always have those set up where you can go use them. They have a model of some kind of dental form set up to scan. Right. And so, as I did that, there the different ones you could see big. Um, technology leaps in different scanners, they are not all the same. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of differences in the way they charge you based on the amount the scanner costs, the monthly fees. Some have dongle fees, which is per case fee. Some do not. Right. Some comes with warranties. Some do not come with warranties. Um, some come with, you know, the software upgrades through time. Others charge you for those upgrades. So all those factors have to come into play when you're looking for a scanner, and it's all important. Yeah, those are good points. So when you, when you settled on, um, he has a three-shaped Trios. When you settled on Trios, what was it about Trios that you liked more than the others? Because Trios, everybody, well, most people that, if you're looking for scanners, you probably know Trios is not the cheapest. Um, but tell us about that. Why would you choose that one? When you get the Trios in your hand and you're running it, mm -hmm. it runs better, it runs smoother, it has true color, it's faster, mm -hmm. it's probably the fastest scanner out there. The interface is better, the, um, the way they charge you, you pay one fee up front for okay. the year, comes with all the sof software upgrades, has warranties, and you don't have a per um, crown fee, right. they don't charge you extra fees. So what I did was I did the math. I took all of them and added up what it cost you to own each one of those scanners for five years. Okay. And it came out that the Trios was second um, in price only to the 3M right. scanner. So that came down to that. And then it would pay for itself in two years if you're doing 40 crowns a month, which is what it's you guys tell me average yeah. dentist does, right? Right. We do about 80 a month. Right. And so we'll, we would pay for it in one year with the savings of the polyvinyl siloxane and the discount we get from you right. for doing modelless crowns. Right, And right. that's not including our, our time factor as well because we're much quicker with it, we're more efficient, and our crowns are more accurate with the scanner. So, so we'll talk about who you bought it from in a second, but tell me, like, when you were using PVS, how long did you... Uh, scheduling your uh, time slot for a crown seat versus now now that you have the scanner was there, is there a difference now there's a lot of difference now we can typically see the crown within about 10 minutes we wow. um, we a lot 
20 uh -huh. on our schedule just in case something were to go wrong, which rarely ever does. Uh -huh. But back under PVS, we were at 30 minutes and we used the entire 30 minutes. And now you schedule 20, but you don't use all of it? We, about 10. Wow. Is what we are from door to door. I mean, from when the patient walks in the practice, sits down in the chair till they're walking out of the practice. Unbelievable. So he talked about uh, saving on the crown. So when a, when a doctor sends us a digital file for a monolithic crown, say a uh, Element Z or an Emacs, we charge $89 a unit for a digital um, impression modelless crown. And also, the turnaround is only three days instead of five days. And we're able to take the price from 109 to 89 because one, we don't have any inbound shipping. Mark emails us the file. We have it the same hour. And also, we don't have any cost of pouring an impression, uh, disinfecting the impression, trimming the dyes. All that adds a lot of labor and cost. So we pass that cost savings on to the doctor, and that helps them pay for their scanner. And you know, it's interesting you say it helps us pay for a scanner. Uh -huh. At 40 crowns a month, you pay for the scanner in two years. If the lifetime of the scanner is six years, over the next four years, you'll save $156,000 right. just by doing scanning. Right. So, uh, you know, I tell people in lectures, how do you pay for your kid to go to college? Buy a scanner. There you go. Bam, $150,000 over four years, pay for most institutions. What about Harvard and uh, Stanford? Man, you man, that's got to do more crowns. Or Vanderbilt, right? man. You want to go to Vanderbilt at sixty thousand a year? Gotcha. But yeah, it really saves you a lot of money. And okay. my staff loves it. Yeah, I love it. Our patients love it. Patients right. look at the scanner and say, "Wow, what's that?" And then we show them that like, that is the neatest thing I've ever seen. Does yeah. everybody have one of these? Right. And we get to talk a lot about our practice with the patient and why we're different and what we do to keep with that technology. And people like going to a practice where the latest technologies right. employed. So you bought your uh, scanner from Cap, a cat, a Cap out of Boston, right? Yes, from Robin is all up there. Yeah. And Bridget Deal came down and did the training okay. over a whole day. And they have the best customer service um, I can imagine. I can't imagine what else they could do to be better. If there's ever a glitch, we call them and uh -huh. they're on the phone, they'll remote into our computer, fix whatever we've messed up. Okay. That's usually what it is, is. Cap is a great company. We, we actually buy our lab products, uh, a lot of our mills and our, our scanners through Cap as well. So we, we have on the video uh, their website and a way to contact them. How much did you pay for that scanner? I believe I paid 48000 48? Was that the special Rob Nizal deal? You know, there's three since different you know, ways. Since you know Oral Arts, they He gave me it. a great deal. Okay, good. Because I've told Moral Arts sent me, and they worked a great deal with me. And okay. I actually bought a demo unit. They had demoed a couple cases and gave me a little bit of discount. Okay. There's three pricing tiers on a Trios that you can pay a lot for the scanner, a little yearly fee okay. or a big yearly fee, and the price of the scanner is lower. Run the numbers and work it out yourself. And they, you know, I was two years ago, so the price of the scanners have changed a little bit. They've come down. Right. Well, that concludes this very first video session with Dr. Mark McComey. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, thanks for having me. All right. If you have any questions for Mark, his uh, email address is in the video. He's happy to answer any technical questions you guys might have. If you have questions for the lab in regards to the scanning, just email me or cadcam at oralartsdental.com. Thank you all so much.